So yesterday I made a video about this whole Quaden Bales situation. And if you haven't seen that video already, I recommend you go back and watch that before you watch this one because this is pretty much a follow-up to that. But basically as a quick rundown here, this is a nine-year-old kid that pretty much went viral overnight because his mom was recording him on Facebook Live while he was crying after getting bullied. And I mean, this tweet has over a million likes now. There was celebrities trying to reach out and help the kid. There was a GoFundMe apparently made by a celebrity to, to send this kid to Disneyland. And I'll get into the situation with that GoFundMe here in a minute because I see a huge problem with how that went down. But basically, as more information about this is coming out, it looks more and more like his mom here is completely using him for clout. Using him for money, for views, for fame. I'm not sure what her end goal is here, but this kid is 100% being used by her. Now first off, if you didn't know this already, Quaden Bales, the kid from this video, he is an actor. That is already like confirmed information. Here's a screenshot from his like page here. Now with that being said, I don't think he's acting at all in that clip about him being bullied. I think that's a real clip. Even if it might not be, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that clip is completely real. Really the only problem I see with that clip is that his mom's parenting honestly seemed horrible there. I mean the kid's crying and saying he wants a knife and he's just like completely upset there and his mom's doing nothing except recording him. To me that just seems like awful parenting. Maybe I'm alone on that one, but that's what it looks like to me. Because I mean this kid has some pretty ridiculous posts on social media because I mean look at this. What kind of parent lets their kids post stuff like this? Now and here's a picture of this nine-year-old holding up the middle finger and here's another picture of him and his mom holding up the middle finger together. Like I'm sorry this mom here seems like a god awful parent. Now the last thing I want to talk about here is the GoFundMe that was created to send this kid to Disneyland. So pretty much right as this situation blew up a couple days ago, this comedian Brad Williams set up this GoFundMe for this kid titled Let's Send a Wonderful Kid to Disneyland. Now don't get me wrong, it's pretty cool the internet has this power that a single social media post can get almost half a million dollars donated, but there's a pretty large problem with this one. This kid doesn't need money. This family is rich. On his social medias, this kid is sitting here in full Gucci outfits. They do not need money. This kid is posing with cars and full Gucci outfits. He does not need money to go to Disneyland. This family could easily go to Disneyland from the looks of it. Giving your money to a rich kid so he can go to Disneyland is one of the worst ways you could ever donate your money. And the second thing I want to point out here is an even bigger problem in my opinion. So let's do a quick Google search here to see how much it actually costs to go to Disneyland. So as you can see here, according to Google, it says for an adult and a child to be at Disneyland for three days, it would cost $325 for the adult and $309 for the kid. Now let's be generous here and say for some reason they're going to be at Disneyland for a week. We are trying to fund a week-long Disneyland trip for these two. That comes out to just under $1,500. Now let's say with flights and with hotels and food and everything, let's just go ahead and say it would never cost over over $5,000. I think that's safe to say. That leaves this mom with over $445,000. This mom is being trusted with almost half a million dollars in extra money because of a single social media post. We really barely know anything about this mom and about this family at all. Who knows what they're gonna do with this money? I don't know how you can say from one social media post this mother should be trusted with almost half a million dollars. I mean, I don't know how anybody can argue with that. That's just ridiculous. So I mean, I guess the moral of the story on this one is do your research before you start donating because of social media posts. Because I mean, I really doubt any of the people who donated to this kid knew that his baseball cap and his Instagram photos cost more than their rent. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at sub to relax. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.